Yeah, just overall, I uh, thought, uh, just to kind of start from the beginning, I thought we started the game slow. Uh, first drive, didn't didn't think we were, we were ready to play. Um, you know, some of those calls came in late, that's on me. Uh, but a lot of MAs early in the game, and that's on our guys. And we got to execute at a, at a higher level, and that's what I told them today. Um, you know, I think after that, we started to, started to settle in. We held them to, you know, under under one yard of carry when you when you take out the uh, all the negative yards on the on the five sacks. Um, you know, I, I felt like if we really wanted to stop the run, we could stop the run going into the game. We felt like, you know, they were an air raid offense. They really didn't want to establish a run game. They wanted to try to throw it. Um, so our game plan was probably a little bit more, um, you know, pass oriented, conservative when it came to that approach. So I thought. Uh, when we got lined up, made some adjustments early in the game, we were fine from there on out. And, um, you know, felt like they kind of abandoned the run, just our physicality inside. I thought we I thought we dominated up front with our D-line, um, you know, really in, in every phase of the game. Um, you know, we were 0 for 2 in the red zone. Um, that was a big, a big negative for us. But four of, you know, four of eight drives were essentially three and outs. Um, you know, we... Uh, we forced two fumbles. Uh, I would argue three. I think that was a bad uh, call on the punch out. The guy clearly took two steps and made a move up the field. Uh, so you know, but they didn't. They didn't call it as such, and that is what it is. Um, you know, um, you know. Obviously, we didn't recover the other one, and then Delos pick. So I thought we had some good opportunities, good plays on the ball. I thought there was a couple other times we could have, we could have, you know, tried to try to get the ball out there. But I thought you could see uh, it was a point of emphasis for our guys. Um, you know, as far as trying to create turnovers. So, uh, third down wise, we were, uh, you know, we were good third and medium. I think that was that was really really big. Um, you know, those third and three to six situations, we were solid. Uh, weren't very good uh, third and short or fourth and short. But I put that on me. You know, going into the game, I felt like, uh, you know, I was especially third and short was more nervous about them. Uh, taking shots, you know, they're a, they're a pass first offense. They've thrown four verticals in waist down situations plus territory, and so we wanted to be a little bit more conservative in some of those situations. But um, you know, I did think we had the key, the the one key stop there on the third and short. You know, uh, about halfway through the game, that I thought was a was a big play. Uh, but overall, we're over two on fourth down, and you know, the two the two there at the end. So. Um, thought after the first drive, our guys pre played pretty well. I thought Henry Chabuzzi played really well in the D-line. Uh, I was proud of some of those guys, Akil, to step up and play when we weren't full full strength uh, in that position unit. I think that just shows the amount of depth and talent we have in that room. Um, proud, proud of that position group. Linebacker-wise, I thought, thought our guys uh, played hard, thought we were physical. Um, you know, Story Jackson was the most productive. Uh, we just got to – we've got to uh, – Continue to improve and limit the the errors, um, you know, in that room. But overall, I thought I thought Rashad Harding, Story, I thought Ahmad Walker, all had good production. Um, Tyron Dupree, you know, we only played, uh, you know, less than 50 snaps on defense, so um, gradable snaps. Um, so when you when you look at it, you know, we uh, you know essentially eight drives and we gave up two scores. Um, you know, I was really frustrated at the end of the game with how that game ended. Um, and that's on me. I thought our sideline organization was a little chaotic, and uh, and that's and that's hundred percent my fault. And so we're going to get that addressed and get it fixed. Um, you know, we, we we hold them on the on the goal line there, and then uh, and then get them a fourth and ten, and uh, don't put us in the best call, and we don't execute the call that we're in. And so, um, you know, more than anything, I was disappointed in myself and how that game ended. Um, so that's kind of the synopsis. I don't think we've played our best football yet. I think we could have held that team to, to seven or less points. I really do, um, you know. But but uh, we've got a you know we've got a really really solid old, old Dominion team coming in here, and we'll have to improve um, in a lot of areas, you know, just moving forward as a as a unit. All right, guys. Uh, Alan had to step aside to interview a coach for tonight's uh, coaches show, so I'm just going to open it up for questions and we'll let you guys handle it on your own. Okay. Hey Scott, you uh, you mentioned Chabuzzi and his game Saturday, and uh, if you think back a couple of years when you when you got here, he was you know an afterthought and on the offensive line, and he's made that transition to the D line, and and now he's you know maybe had the best two games of any interior lineman uh, you guys have had through the first two games. Uh, 
what what turn for him? What change for him in this process? How has he been able to go from a guy that was you know you know pretty much an afterthought to you know one of your better defensive line players? Yeah, John, I, I would say it's his attitude and it's his approach. And, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of guys. We have a lot of guys uh, with more depth than we've ever had. And I'll use Henry as a prime example. Um, not everybody's going to get to start for us, okay? That's just, that's just, how, it, that's just how it is. And, um, you know, we have to have some of those real conversations with guys. Not everybody's going to get to play. We'll have starters that don't play as many snaps as they would have in years past, okay? Um, you know, Henry's a guy that um, sometimes he doesn't start, but he plays more snaps in a lot of ways because he's in on third downs, you know. And so understanding that, man, you know, when he was an O line and he got moved to D line, um, you know, he had to get his weight down, uh, but you could see the athletic ability. But when he decided to change his attitude, when he decided to make, um, you know, getting his um, weight and size to play the position and doing what he needed to do to control that to make himself, you know, because we already knew he was really athletic and dynamic, but now where he could play at that weight. Um, and so, you know, I think that's a credit to him. I think that's a credit to uh, Coach Aldridge and Coach King Williams and the job that they've done working with him. Um, but I think ultimately he's had to make that choice and, and hold himself account accountable um, to give himself this opportunity. And so, um, you know, I think you got to uh, – you know, uh, tip your hat to those guys and the guys that coach him. Um, but he's very talented, and we've known that all along. It's just, you know, wanting to see the consistency and him put it all together. And, you know, I think we're starting to see that now. And I think as he continues to grow and develop, he's just going to get better and better. As Scott, going back to Chibuzi, I think it was during your first season here when he, he was originally on the offensive line at guard, and then it was like midway point of the year, you guys shifted him to the defensive line. Well, can you walk us back through that thought process of moving that, that big of a guy over and get, then having to get him in shape where he can be at this point? Yeah, that was 100% Coach Freeze's move. Um, I did not, I did not see that one, um, and I'm, you know, I was coaching the DBs at the time, so it's not, wasn't something that was even on my, uh, in my wheelhouse of, of thought. And I think, you know, um, I, I really don't think any of us knew how good he could be. And coach, you know, coach said, "I'm telling you, I'll try him here. He could be talented." Because at that point, he was so, you know, he was, he had so far to go as far as getting his weight down to be able to play D line. And then you just. You know, I remember Coach Aldridge just showed me the first day on the sled and him hitting the sled, and you see the twitch and the pop and the hands, the athletic ability. And so, you know, obviously from there it's been a process for him, and and uh, really proud of him and just uh, him putting himself uh, in this moment and giving himself this this opportunity and making the most of it. Sticking with the defensive line, and you're going to have to go up against a pretty big. Old Dominion offensive line that is generating a push and getting guys like Elijah Davis and then Blake Watson some running room and uh, what do you have to worry about with them in terms of what they're they're able to do with that and then the plus run with the quarterback? Yeah, I think anytime anytime you get the ability you know to uh, to run the quarterback you know that's uh, put stress like I've told you guys on defenses so um, you know they've got. You know, a very talented athlete at the quarterback position. Uh, they can, they can, they can run it and throw it, and obviously that's that's a part of their offense is running the quarterback, a big part. Um, you know, big old line, and obviously you know they're going to try to move us around and and uh, and push on us, and we got to, you know, we got to take the fight to them. So I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, I do think it's going to be a very physical football game. Uh, obviously, like you guys said. Um, you know, I don't know much about the, the rivalry here. Obviously, I do know they're down the road from us. So, um, but I know they're going to be ready to play us, and we're going to have to be ready to play them for sure. You know, because they, they they see this as a huge opportunity to come in here and take a game from us. And and um, yeah, I just want to focus on us getting better at us right now. I think that's that's the premium and that's the key, regardless of who we're playing, is continuing to develop within uh, our system and just playing good fundamental defense. This is a team, you know, has got a new coaching staff. They didn't even play in 2020, and uh, they got two games against a, you know, Power Five and, and an FCS. How difficult is it to, you know, prepare for what you might uh, see? I know you do have those two games on tape, but maybe didn't have a, a big idea of what they're going to do in the preseason. Well, yeah, I mean, you have that, and then you know, you've got 2019 Penn State film you're watching, and all the previous film that we've broken down. So, um, I think we have a good understanding of philosophy, you know. Um, where they come from, but you know, like anything, like you said, you know, he's he's 
and this is two years removed, so how much has changed and how does that fit their system? So, um, you know, they've got some good players and there's going to be some, some matchups that are going to be really key in that game. And so I think it's, you know, for us, making sure we're ready, we prepare our, 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 our guys to the best of our ability and, and then, then go play within the framework of the defense and, you know, just um, hold them accountable in those ways. And, you know, so we might not have covered every scenario and everything they're going to see because you're right, we've only seen a couple games. Dejon Anthony got on the field for the first time uh, with you guys on Saturday. How do you feel he graded out in his limited snaps? You know, I, I'm uh, I'm excited to see what what he brings to the table moving forward. You know, he is um, so long, physical, um, it cares. It matters so much to him, um, and so I think he's he's got a bright future. Um, I don't know exactly what his grade was. You know, the one-handed catch the young man made. I wish he would have turned back and tried to play the ball better. But it was also a great catch. I mean, credit, you know, give credit where credit is due. Um, you know, so overall, I thought he felt comfortable, looked comfortable in there. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, I think he's still getting back to 100%. I, you know, I don't know if he's quite there yet, but I think he's close. And he's a competitor. I mean, the one thing, if you know him at all, he's a competitor. And so, you know, he's going to get out there if he's 75% and he's going to play. And he's, you know, because it matters to him. If he can help this team, he's going to do it.